What's up YouTube and welcome back to another awesome Moto Vlog. I originally wasn't even going to film this but I decided that doing the transfer case and the front differential fluid drain and fill, I figured that everyone knew how to do that but at the same time I thought you know might as well film it so that you guys have some other references. I'm trying to make sure that the GX470 content on this channel covers everything from general maintenance things all the way through to a little bit more challenging modifications. So because of the fact that it's a very straightforward, easy thing to do, I'm going to keep today's video simple and easy. So uh, let's start off with the gear oil I'm going to use. So for the front differential and the transfer case, we're going to use 75W90. I believe you need about 1.5 quarts-ish for the front differential and then about 1.5 for the transfer case. So just go ahead and get three quarts and that should cover you. I'm going here with this Royal Purple. And what's nice about the Royal Purple is it has a nice friction modifier additive inside of the gear oil. And this is something that is also on the BMW M4. You can't just put regular gear oil in the M4 rear diff. You need to have the uh, gear oil that has the friction additive in it. So for that reason, I decided, hey, if Royal Purple's got the right weight gear oil and they've got the friction additive in there. I want to try this out on my GX because it's a high mileage vehicle and I feel like why not put the best of the best in there. This stuff's a little bit pricey per quart. I think I paid about $25 per quart. So looking at 75 bucks for doing the transfer case and the front diff. I mean, it's a little bit pricey, but hey, if you love your GX and you want nothing but the best for it, get yourself some Royal Purple. In addition to that, I have this uh, washer kit. This is the crush washers that you need for the drain and fill plugs. I'll put the links for all the stuff down below. And additionally, got a little uh, pump here. This is both a quart size and gallon size pump. It's just nice to have one of these around the garage just because the Royal Purple doesn't do what Valvoline does and they don't have the nice squeezable bag style, but very easy to do if you get yourself one of these pumps. You can just pump the oil right up into the diff or the transfer case. All right, so we already got the GX up on the lift. Let's just get under there, drain the fluid, and we'll put this Royal Purple in there, and we'll see how well this stuff really works. All right, so we're up under the GX here, as you can see. There's some oil residue around here, and actually what this is is um, the drive shaft seal here on this side of the transfer case. So I need to replace that seal in here. Um, that's something I'm planning on doing here in the future, but those are the signs of, of that. Tech, typically, those are the signs of that happening. Some people can have some actual transfer case uh, seal issues, but this is definitely coming out from uh, the seal here, and that's a pretty easy thing to fix. So anyways, done yapping. All right, so with the 24 millimeter socket, that'll be what you need to get both the fill and the drain plugs uh, loosened up. You wanna go ahead and start with your fill plug. The reason you wanna do your fill plug first is that if you can't fill your transfer case after you drain it then you're pretty screwed so you want to make sure you can get that off before you even bother taking off the drain plug so i'm just gonna see if i can get that oh, that broke free pretty easily so that was good and then we'll go down here to the the drain Whew. that drain one was tight all right, so there's some crush washers on here. We're gonna wanna get your drain pan here ready. Before I get started, I'm gonna actually take the drain or the fill plug here and loosen it almost all the way. And then for the drain side, you wanna let this pop off and I'm kind of in a really bad spot here because I think I'm gonna get hit pretty good with some fluid risking it risking it for the video there we go not so bad and I'm looking at the uh, fluid color as it's draining through the light and it actually looks really good surprisingly I was kind of concerned it wasn't gonna be in that good a shape and both of these have a washer on them. It is a crush style washer, so you want to take these off um, and replace them with new ones, which we have in this little kit here. So I'll put the links in the description for these washers so you know which ones to use. 
and you have a nice length for that. All right, so with that drain plug into place, we're gonna go fill things up. So get your Royal Purple gear oil and put your pump down in the container. And really what you wanna do is we're gonna put the feeder up inside of here and we're just going to start pumping until fluid starts coming out that means we filled it to the top and there's no more place for fluid to go but out you just keep pumping the purple fluid as you can see pretty funky looking purple it's my first time using this stuff and you just keep pumping until fluid comes out which may take a bit All right, so you can see a steady stream coming out of purple. Um, that is because we are now full, so put your fill plug back into place with that new crush washer on there. And tighten it down to spec. All right, took a little dinner break and maybe some coffee and dessert too. So I am recharged and ready to move on to the front. So we've already done the center transfer case and that went really smooth, super easy to do. And the front is just as easy. Uh, so let's move over and start with that. I did want to show what we got going on here. So got the drip pan, drain pan all ready to go and still into place. I did take off the engine guards um, just to get a little bit more access but I might have been able to get away with not doing that just because right here is the access point so I probably <laughs> didn't need to do that but that's fine it gives me I just wanted to check up under there in general uh, just to see if there's any other indications of issues or things I need to replace in the future so um, I do recommend doing that from time to time so all right, so we got our fill plug up here and our drain plug is this one here. So for this one, it is a 10 millimeter hex key. So this bolt, these drain plug bolts are that 10 millimeter hex. And I just put that on to the end of my ratchet. These are very convenient. Definitely just a Harbor Freight pickup. Very cheap, very effective. Couldn't find my breaker bar, but electric ratchet will Probably get you the torque you need to break that loose. That thing was on there. Dang. That struggled a bit. It is Ryobi, so it's not too much of a test of quality, but it was definitely on there really good. So next we're gonna do, now that we got our fill plug loosened up, we're gonna do our drain. And make sure you get your drain pan uh, down below here so you can catch anything when it leaks out. All right, so it's time for the breaker bar. I just got a metal pipe and this works really well. Does that do it? Oh, yep. There we go. That scared the crap out of me. I thought I just snapped the threads on that. We're gonna do it like we did on the other one. Hopefully I don't get a bunch of crap all over the camera lens, but going to loosen up your fill plug to let some of the air in, have it drain faster. Anytime now, come on. Oh, there we go. Almost got the camera. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. There's not any metallic flakes down in the fluid. Um, I was expecting, I guess the worst, I was expecting to see something bad, something just to grab the crush washer. Now, the one for the front diff, there's two different sizes. Just make sure you pick the right one and put that on. That was the fill side. On the drain side is a much bigger uh, gasket or crush washer. And you wanna just put that one on. It's like a copper look to it. And then this is looking good, looking like it's done draining crap out. So let's just, Throw this in there. 
All right, now we just gotta fill it with the purple fluid, put it up in here and just start pumping until, until fluid starts coming out. So should take about one and a half of these. All right, so once it starts dripping out, then you know you have it filled. And from there, you just want to put in your fill plug and torque that down to spec. All right, so that does it for today's video. Pretty straightforward job. Um, I'd say the worst thing about it is it's just time consuming. Anytime you're doing anything where you got to get the vehicle up on a lift like this, it just takes way longer than you expect. And so it's kind of late. I just washed up a little bit. I was covered, absolutely covered. So wear some gloves, covered in grease. Um, other than that, I mean, it's an easy job. Go change your transfer case fluid, go change your front diff fluid. Uh, your car will thank you. And for all of you with the high mileage GXs like me, uh, you probably do for it if you haven't done it in the lifetime that you've owned the vehicle and you're not sure of the history of the vehicle, just go ahead and do it as you saw. It was pretty straightforward to do. Total of taking off four bolts, draining some fluid and pumping some back in. So if this video helped you out with some maintenance on your GX, hit that like button down below or hit the subscribe button. If you wanna follow the Awesome Moto YouTube channel, you'll get updated every time I upload new videos with GX470 maintenance and modification type content. In addition, if you're interested in supporting the channel, head on over to awesomemoto.tv and pick up yourself some Awesome Moto merch. It helps out the channel, helps bring you more videos like this one you saw here. All right, well, I'm exhausted and I think I'm gonna end things here. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.